Today, you're going to finish the background of your um, Aboriginal piece, and then we are going to make a border. What we're going to do is I'm going to have these things called craft scissors sitting out. And these craft scissors have different kinds of edges to them that you can use to cut almost so we can make it look like the edge of our piece is like birch bark or some kind of bark material. And inside of the scissor container that I've got on the side of the room are a bunch of different kinds of edges. And what we can do is we can use these edges. You can choose a variety of different ones that you want and kind of do the edges of your picture so they look like a rough kind of barky piece. So what we're going to do is you're going to take your finished painting and you're just going to trim the edge. I'm going to take my thing and I'm just going to kind of zigzaggly trim the edge with this piece. I want to make sure that I don't cut my critters, but I cut right along the edge with this scissor. And I'm going to round out my corner a little bit. Okay, you can kind of see the leftover scrap there. And I'm going to continue around the edge and we're kind of trying to make it look rough and bumpy on the edge okay that's what we were going for because we want this to look like a natural piece of branch or bark that we painted on just like the aboriginals did with their paintings okay so here's my rough edge And once we get this edge finished, you're going to clean up all your scraps. Please don't just swipe them onto the floor. Swipe them into your hand and then bring them to the trash and throw them away in the trash. Then take your scissors and put them back into the scissor container on the side of the room. Then you're going to take your picture and you're going to do what's called mounting it. You're going to mount it on a piece of black paper like that so that it looks like you can, so you can see the edge and it'll bring that edge out. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to flip mine over. If you flip yours over, make sure that you don't, um, if it's, it's not wet. Okay, then you're going to take your glue bottle. Remember, you have to tap it on the table to get the glue started. And you might have to pick a little couple chunks off the edge like that and you're going to glue it down. Now notice my name. Do you see my name right here? I'm going to be gluing it down and it's going to be really hard to see my name if I glue down my whole piece. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure that I write my name on my black paper after I glue this down. So I'm going to flip it over, kind of place it right in the middle. I'm going to flip the whole thing over again and I'm going to smooth it and I'm going to make sure I write my name. You can use a pencil, but you're going to write your name. Here's my name, Mr. Lundgren. You're going to write your name and then you're going to write your teacher's name. Let's pretend this is Miss Lindsay's class. Lind Z. And you're going to write it, you know, whatever your teacher's name is, right that there. And if I kind of tilt this up now into the light, you'll be able to see that, yes, in fact, you can see the pencil there. But so at the end, your picture should look something like this. It should have a black border, and it should have a rough cut edge with some of those craft scissors at the side of the room.